Well, hello everybody. Well, today we are revisiting this uh, HP 853A. This one's fitted with an 8557A plug-in that covers 10 kilohertz to 350 megahertz. Now, this this uh, the spectrum analyzer does work. Unfortunately, I only can use it in analog mode because of this board here that failed. This is the uh, data converter card. This is the one that allows you to digitize the traces and and uh, everything else. Um, it uh, it's been intermittent uh, the years that I've had this. It would uh, you know the screen would either freeze or it would uh, produce malformed characters when you turn the unit on. Or uh, it would just spontaneously reboot and uh, run its sub its uh, self test routines. And uh, after a while, it would work just fine. But uh, I did one of the last videos I did on this. I put this card back in, and it started working. But as soon as I was done with the video, it failed, and it failed big time. So we're going to replace that card. I uh, fortunately was able to find one on eBay. I purchased it. It finally got here today, so we're going to install it and see what happens. So let's get to it. Alrighty. Well, here's what she looks like on the inside. We have the, uh, the plug in here. Nice, nice, nice construction. Uh, and when I do my alignment on this thing, <laughs> here's the 10 trimmers that you have to adjust to get the linearity correct on the uh, on the sweep these two over here to set upper and lower limits and uh i don't know wait a minute these here set the blankings upper and lower blanking and uh, i think these two set the upper and lower limits but i can't see the thing facing the wrong direction and back here is the power supply for the plug-in and uh, of course the uh, analog card and the vacant slot for the digital card that's going to go in and this power supply here uh, basically powers those two cards. It powers the, uh, the, the uh, CPU board on the bottom. And then, of course, we got the high voltage section here. And this also powers uh, all the rest of the, uh, the CRT electronics. So that, I'll get this card uh, out of the box and uh, we'll slip it in and power it on. All righty. There's out of the anti stat bag. Back of it looks pretty good. I don't see any obvious issues. All right. Looks good. All righty. Cards in. The uh, unit's in analog mode, so let's turn it on and see what happens. I don't see any magic smoke. We now have a trace. All right, let's uh, turn on channel A. And it looks like we've got something here. And it's working. Looks like it needs a little adjusting. But, uh, yeah, it definitely needs some adjustment. Coming from another, uh, coming from another machine. Well, interesting. Yeah, cool. Let's see here. Go back here. Now let's see if that works. And yes, that is working correct. Cool. Yeah, so now I just have to just go through the, or the adjustment procedure for that card. So that it's not overshooting the display there. Um, yeah, okay, good. Well, it's, uh, that's a good start anyway, so <laughs> we'll see what there is to do here next. All right, I had to do a few adjustments. The, uh, the traces were off a little bit, and now I have them aligned just fine. To initially start this, you hold in the uh, the Graticule button and then turn the power switch on, and it comes up into these test routines. And this one here is the first one you align, and you use the X position, Y position, and the trace align controls. The trace align controls like a trace rotation, so you want that trace nice and flat and uh, right on the Graticule line at the top. 
then use the uh, the X position and the Y position to get that trace from one edge to the other with that center tick in the middle. And then move on to the next one. And this just basically shows you uh, everything's working. Uh, all, the, all the text is there. The ROMs are working just fine. And it shows this test pattern of the stair step. Make sure that the, uh, the DAC is working. Next one is uh, just basically a blank screen it's for uh, testing other parameters. This one here shows you the uh, the characters. These are what you use to foc to adjust the focus. Well, these characters, but this, of course, this camera's not going to focus on that. But they look pretty good. The next one is where we go into the data converter card and adjust a couple of controls. The first one you're going to, you bring up this and if it's offset any, which it's not going to be vertically offset because we took care of that at the beginning, but horizontally it'll be too wide and offset. So you have to reduce the gain and then there's another control you use to, to move the offset to get these, these lines perfectly aligned with the granicule. After that, you're pretty much good to go. There's some focusing adjustments, but everything seems to be good enough. And uh, then you can just go through and step through some other subroutines. Uh, this tells you the actual sweep time that you're using. And then this is a routine that's run during boot up. There's another blank. This is another routine that's run at, uh, at boot time. And right now it's just gonna just keep running it. And to get out of this, Press and hold the trace and the graticule button. It will rerun its test routines. And there we go. So yeah, now all I gotta do is uh, get the time to adjust those billions of, uh, <laughs> it seems like billions, uh, those 10 uh, trace adjustments. They're, it's pretty close as it is. I didn't have a, uh, a comb generator when I first did this I used my uh, my signal generator and I just generated the uh, the signals I needed at uh, 40 megahertz intervals it got close but not as good as I would like it so here later on I'll get my uh, comb generator out and uh, get this thing aligned once and for all I'll get it top shelf and, and I don't have to worry about it but for now hey I'm glad this thing is working that was a uh, $60 uh, card that I got from a seller in Israel. It only took uh, barely a week to get here. So, yeah, I'm pleased. It's actually got some pretty good focus on it. So, yeah, I'm not even going to mess with that. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> cool. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this quick little video. And uh, we'll... Catch you later on down the road. Thanks for watching.